what I have here in the box, the secret box, the treasure box. I managed to get, despite all the uh, restrictions of movement outside because of the disease, I managed to get this order I put in for seven Fayumi chicks. So the Fayumi breed is an ancient Egyptian breed and they're a bit flighty, not maybe not the friendliest chicken, not the kind of you would want to get for a pet. They don't really like to interact with humans that much. That is what I've heard. I don't have any previous experience with this breed. Uh, but why I wanted to get these is that we live in an area where it gets really hot during the summer. Last year we had, uh, for two weeks in a row, we had around 47, even up to 49 degrees Celsius, which is really, really hot. And we had a few of our chickens actually die, I think, due, just due to the heat, even though we had everything in place. We had waters, we had, we had um, uh, cold water sprinklers cold fruit, everything. We tried everything to make them um, more comfortable, but they're just not meant to, to live here in these, this hot climate. So European breeds in particular, um, they might not do as well. So I'm hoping, even though they say that this Fayumi breed, uh, they're not the friendliest ones, and maybe they don't lay as many eggs, I'm uh, hoping to be able to mix these genes into our flock. So having these um, genes that are very, tolerant for heat to heat and also what is interesting that they say that this breed because it's kind of a primitive breed uh, it's also uh, it doesn't get sick with Newcastle and other other disease that chickens have so that is also something that I'm hoping to get so this is one of the chicks they are between a few days and a week and a half or so old and as you can see they have this nice kind of brown coloration when they um, grow up they will be kind of uh, black black and white colored but yeah so we got seven I hope this one does look like a rooster maybe I'm not sure I have to see them and this is what they always say about them they hate being held so even even the ones that grew up with people they just don't like being held and they will cry when you hold them but I will put them in their new home and hope they will like it at least they will be living here with us now in the living room so maybe they will get used to our our sounds and noises and we'll of course try to gently get them used to us handling them as well here we have the biggest one you can already see the colors coming in the feathers like black and white kind of stripey color but yeah this one is the biggest one and the most vocal one and his So I took them out for a while from the brooder box. I had to actually put the two kind of boxes on top of each other because they're so jumpy and flighty that they, uh, I was afraid that they would honestly just uh, jump into the heat lamps and burn themselves like I always burn myself on the heat lamps. But here you can see I think she, I'm hoping it's a she. She's the oldest and she has already, you can see the pretty feathers super pretty love it but the head is still very brown chocolate brown but very 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 pretty color and their skin their legs are kind of grayish Let's see if I can get into focus but they're extremely extremely hard to catch super hard to catch like even quail that I thought were hard to catch don't compare to these. You know, they, they are super fast, extremely hard to catch. But as I said, they're not pet chickens. They are survival chickens, pharaoh chickens, but they all seem very healthy and happy.
So here I have her again, the biggest one of the peeps. And I think it's clear that she's a female. She has a really small wattle and it's really light colored. So here you can see the, this is like the pattern that she will have when she's older. Their head is lighter, like kind of whitish color. But yeah, she's the biggest one and you know, took me a while to catch her in the small brooder box. I said they are very flighty and they don't like being held, but she's, she accepted her fate now that I took her out. They also fly on top of the, the wood I have in the brooder box where I hang the food and water from. So I had to change those today because they keep um, kind of perching up on these up on the uh, the wood and then they keep pooping down in their water which is obviously not good but I think he, she's really pretty very nice they also mature really quickly roosters should start crowing already after like a month five five weeks, six weeks of age. And then that makes it also easy really quickly to distinguish between the roosters and the hens. And hens should start laying at around four months or four and a half months. So looking forward to that during the summer. But here, the not so baby Fayumi anymore, but a really nice color.